So, uh, since I have some space issues, I don't have enough space, I can't remove everything from the table to make any proper normal size videos. I will do this uh, short, I try to be as short as possible, short it can be, a uh, review of uh, Figma number 362 made by Kadokawa and I guess Max Factory. Yes, Max Factory, you probably won't see it, but here we go. It's an original Figma uh, from Cameron and Friends, some animated series released in Japan, as well popular in Japan and I guess in some countries are probably just only by enthusiasts all around the world. So I got this uh, pretty cool Figma, just only because I thought it's pretty cool and fun to play with the character. Uh, what I have in mind to tell the play with, I'm not quite positively ready to tell this because I have few ideas how I utilize the figure and since I'm oh finally I was able to open so I won't made out any stupid dialogues anymore and I just uh, remove box content from package yeah we remove the box very nice box by the way uh, actually, I have uh, two films already. The one is uh, Tamamo no Mae from uh, Failed and Order, and this one will be a second one. It will be a several. We have a very nice background. Background. We're we'll placing it here, and we have some uh, very nice, very uh, safely packed Figma. Since it is the original Figma, it will have no issues, I think so. I'm not very experienced at the film, so please uh, do not mind my inexperienced review about it. So what do we got here? We have an um, original package for spare parts, uh, parts you're not using, such as a, a bunch of uh, hands, open hands, punches, thumbs, oh well, and some extra joints, so one clear one. Probably for supporting figure and one for in a case if you break it. Of course, the original film must stand here and there. And uh, for accessories, we have something a little bit more, but we'll just try to cover this up. And let's remove everything else from the side. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Ah, uh, well, if you have some protective plastic, I don't know how to remove this, but this is plastic probably to snap off the head first well it will be a first in my experience for snapping off a figma I never did it before but who it went out quite easily we have to remove yeah that's that wasn't so quite very difficult to a little bit creepy but you can actually remove the ribbon of course with head but by the way very nice sculpting on the head and details are pretty amazing. No wonder nowadays these figures cost a lot of money. Wow, paint work is perfect. Let's put the head back under the neck nicely, slowly, so we don't want to break anything. And we have a very nice looking anime Camino Girls, Camino uh, Friends, uh, several girl figure. Uh, some joints around shoulder and elbows, so regular joints for Figma and uh, and overall it looks very nice. It's almost like a some statue, mini statue. We have a I guess we have something to remove more. Okay. Uh, I'm not very experienced in things like that, so I'm not sure how to remove everything from body. I guess uh, body will be removable joint I hope it will not break anything it will be a freaking uh, it's not given up so easily like I had but it should some well actually I will do it later I'll do it later and maybe represent uh, this figure in uh, some fur further videos and the camera doesn't focus up I should have to apologize in the credit because I don't have a good lighting here have a very nice figure very nicely painted uh, a lot of articulation here and there. It's a regular articulation for Figma. If you're very curious about Figma circulation, you can freely roam Google, YouTube, and check it out for yourself because I'm not of 
another first type who go through all the figure. I will be posing it eventually, but but I'm not planning to show anything special or some acrobatic tricks on it. So maybe in the future, I'm not sure about it, but yeah. So we have a very nice painted figure with a lot of articulation points. Uh, we come to the stand. I wonder if he can. She can stand on its own. Uh, I guess she can, but you just have to calibrate all joints and wait properly so she won't fall over, so she's trying to fall over. So that's where I, the stand comes in, you know, place it here. And we have some few additional accessories, as well as a small manual. Manual doesn't show actually how to remove plastic wrappings, a little bit annoying, so I will have to check somewhere on the blogs or videos to see how do people manage to do this. We have our uh, faces. Uh, several faces, yeah. Warning face, neutral face, and neutral looking somewhere else. As well we have some bun. I guess this is a bun uh, used as a main food for a Kimono Friends World daily basis. And yeah. Uh, Except the issue I did with this review, I couldn't remove the something beneath the torso. I'm not sure how to remove it first off. I will try to do this later over the camera, but yeah, I, uh, I showed a little bit an 18 content, I guess, among the figures. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, so, yeah, we have a very nice quality and awesome looking figure of the Figma camera and friends uh, several channel so thank you for watching and i guess i will be returning back to this uh, later someday maybe even often i guess i will be using her as my helper in building goomplas in reviewing stuff and it's a predator after all predator. and i guess we'll see and uh, come back to her much often than i think we would. Alright, thank you for watching. See you next time.